My next guest has got a huge opportunity. Going to be fighting Cedric Dumbay, Bellator Champion Series, May 17th. That is right around the corner. Happy to be joined by Jaleel Willis back here on the program. Jaleel, how are you? Doing good, bro. Happy to be back. Yeah, happy to talk to you, man. Uh, I was going to say, it's been a bit since you and I have talked, but tell me first just how excited were you to get this fight? A lot of guys want to go in there and fight Cedric Dumbay, and you got this huge opportunity. Yeah, bro, that's what I was saying. You know, I mean, I was like, bro, so many people wanted to hop in and smash, bro. I'm glad I get to be the first one to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, when did you find out, and and did it come as a surprise, or was this something you were expecting? Man, the only thing that came as a surprise is the way uh bro had got hurt you know that's the only thing that came a surprise like i can't believe that they really you know hit me up and was like be ready for ultimate you know what i mean yeah then turn around to look at my ig and see that you know i hope uh derek have a speedy recovery as well man but uh, the only thing that shocked me was the fact that i'm like damn you know they, they told me stay ready and i am so Perfect. You know what I mean? I'll open it in. Um, we haven't seen you in a while. I know your last fight, I think, was last June. Uh, what, what's been the reason for the layoff for people who might not know? Mine, uh, straight up, bro. I got uh, my jaw broke. Damn. Shit was all fucking fucked up. You know what I mean? Uh, shit. Uh, you know, but it is what it is. Like, I took time to recover, to heal. And by the time I was ready to fight again, you know, the whole merger had to happen and everybody was doing their thing. And then I, since like December, I just been trying to get anybody to say yes to a fight. Right. Well, what was your reaction when you heard about the merger? Cause like, were you worried at all? Cause you never know when you have companies merged together, right? Not everyone comes over. Yeah. I mean, I was nervous, you know what I mean? It's like, I was, you know, it's my job. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, should I hope? I've done enough to keep my job and to be coming off of a fucking loss and then they doing a merger like that. You never know what can happen. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's the only thing that was so with me, just had me a little nervous. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's talk about Doombay, man. We mentioned it there. Big opportunity here. There's a lot of hype behind him. How do you feel like your style matches up against his? Mine, uh, to be honest, I think my style is just terrible. Terrible for him. You know what I mean? Perfect for me, terrible for him. You know, it's like with what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a guy that's one dimensional, still trying to figure stuff out. And I'm glad I get to show him some of this real shit. You know what I mean? So show him you gotta be way around to get in here, call yourself a champion. You know what I mean? You're a champion in kickboxing. You ain't a champion over here. You gotta get into that shit before I can call you that. Absolutely. Um, we see you at the gym there. How's camp going? Who've been some of your main training partners for this camp? And our main training partners have been uh, Danny Barlow, you know, D'Angelo Leeds, man. Um, let's see, uh, Paul Kimball, uh, Rambo Forrest, well, Raheem Forrest, I don't know if it's Rambo. And uh, Trey Manley, you know, uh, all my brothers down in Kill Cliff, like, I could really go on for a long time. <laughs> Nice. What's it like getting to train with Barlow? He's been on quite the role in the UFC, and, and it seems like a good guy in the, in the in the gym as well. What What's it like getting to train with him? Man, it's super motivating. And it's like, you know, being around a talent like that is, is just like uh, refreshing, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you thought real motherfuckers died, you know what I mean? And he fucking in there so exhilarating and fucking coming out with everything. Top C the whole time, he's sparring you, fucking you up, you know what I mean? Coming in, he looking for his shit. And to see him just explode the way that he did, I'm like, bro, I promise y'all, it's just the beginning. Yeah. Well, it's cool, too. It's like iron sharpens iron, right? Both of you guys are really, uh, you know, again, like with your career as well, it, it must be, like, good to have him in the gym, especially for a big fight like this oh, where yeah. you're, you're getting to work with high-level guys. Hey, man. So, yeah, I was, I was going to say, just it must be like iron sharpening iron, so to speak, in the gym. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And, you know, I've been with Danny since, like, probably, probably eight. Yeah, it's been a while. Seven or eight years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, we've been knowing each other for a long time. And, I'm, you know, I knew him. He was just coming in as a track star, basketball player, you know, trying to get his boxing legs on him. Yeah. 
Um, you also mentioned a bit that you trained at Killcliff, or um, wh like, did you get any uh, time at, at Killcliff for this camp, or was this just uh, before you got to train there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some time down there for this camp. Nice. Like, you know, I've got, I'm always back and forth. You know what I mean? Like, whenever I'm not in school, I like to go down there. You know, just kind of get working. It's always good for me. Yeah, I know it's a big gym, but who do you get to work with over there at Killcliff as far as uh, bodies? I know, I know it's a big gym. Man, I know, like. Gilbert Burns, Kevin Lee, you know what I mean? Oh, cool. uh, I was like two of my major guys. Cool. Uh, Nikita Colson, you know what I mean? He uh he was just on LFA uh, here not too long ago. Like and Delano Taylor, you know yep. what I mean? Jason yep. Jackson, you know, like the whole squad, you know what I mean? I even tried to get in there with Ampa. Oh, know? cool. <laughs> yeah. He's been yeah. doing great. He's he's been yeah, doing yeah, he's been doing amazing. Yeah, it's awesome to see. Uh, your corner for this fight, who will be in the cage with you? Oh, man, uh, it's going to be, you know, Brian Hall, he's going to be there with me. And, you know, uh, Trey Manley will be there with me. And uh, I think that's it. You know, we're going to do our thing from there. I don't need an army to go over there and tear down to Paris. Yeah, for sure. And when, when are you heading down there? Like, have you figured out all your travel and all that? Yeah, man, we, we got to figure it out. I think I'm going to get down there like a week and a half early. So I'm like, I think like maybe the end up next week, I might go ahead and get down there. You know what I mean? That way we can have a lot of time to look around and see shit before we crack in. Yeah, for sure. And uh, how do you see this fight playing out on May 17th? How's this one going down? Oh, man, me knocking him on his ass first round and then passing his guard and choking him out. Simple as that. I love it, man. That's great. And where does the win put you? We talked about all the hype behind him. Like, I know he hasn't had, like, a ton of, uh, you know, fights for PFL or for Bellator even. Um, but, but like, you know, just the, the magnitude of beating a guy with that name, that, that's going to put you in some a really good spot after this. Uh, to be honest, uh, beating a dude like him, it'll uh, probably put me up there with the casuals. You know I mean? The yeah. Casual oh, yeah. Fans, but real, you know, real uh, fighters know what's up. They you know... I know, like, you know, that's just another spell, you know what I mean? So, me getting a win over him, as I'm like, well, shit, nigga, that's what you're supposed to do, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you is what you say you is, motherfucker, that ain't, you know, it's great, but shit, you ain't gonna be something like, oh, yeah, that's it, that, that's the shit, that, that's the shit that's gonna stamp his career, you know what I mean? And I yeah. Awesome. Jaleel, we're looking forward to it, man. Bellator Champion Series, May 17th. If there's anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, I'll give you the last word. I'm not sure though. I just want to thank God for keeping me humble, keeping me, uh, you know, straight LO, not letting me lose track of focus. And uh, I just want to thank all of Memphis. I want to thank all of, uh, you know, Deerfield, everybody, man. Everybody being super supportive. Everybody, like, want to see what's been coming in. So, I'm just ready.